You know that feeling from the paper plates. Hate is quitting like they just been raised. So it is a Friday over here at Korea University and technically the start of my weekend because I don't have any classes today. Oh man, this is crazy. So I typically use Fridays to rejuvenate and just relax because throughout the week I'm busy with school and it's a lot of stress. But the first thing we're gonna do today to help me rejuvenate is head to a dog cafe. So I'm gonna walk down to Anam and catch the train and head over there right now. You don't really wanna be my lady. Alright, so I just got off the train and now I'm at a burrito spot. The part of Seoul I'm in right now is called Hongdae, which is kind of like a hip, more artsy area. And since it's a little more hip, it does have Mexican food. It's definitely really hard to find over here in Seoul, but there's definitely spots in areas like this. So I guess we'll have to see how they make it over here in Korea. To work out the highs and lows, the ups and downs. No need to hide, the skies is coming down. Go and get high, I promise you're coming down. Coming down, coming down, coming down, coming down. Coming down, coming down. Coming down. Eyes on the road. Yo, this is... Oh, nah, what's up, man? Oh, man! Yo, what is... Yo, this, this is different! Oh, man! Oh, man! This is not a healthy environment for dogs, it really isn't. In order to properly house this many dogs, you gotta have a huge field, but we're literally on the second floor of a building, and this building is like 20 by 20. I got a good greeting, but look at what the state of the dogs are now. So I'm outside the dog cafe now, and that was quite an experience. My concluding thought is that I feel kind of bad for these dogs because I don't think anyone's walking them, I don't think they're coming outside and there's a million of them there. Even one of those dogs would kind of be too big for that one room, but there's like 20 of them, and there's at least six or seven of them that weigh over 100 pounds. In the peak of their days, when people come in to pet them, and that lasts like, what, two or three minutes, and then they're right back down on the ground, they're laying down, lifeless almost. These people were in there just taking pictures. They weren't even petting the dogs. At least I was doing my duty by petting them. That's honestly the only thing I can do in this situation is just show them a little bit of love while I'm over there. But my dog cafe vibe has definitely been ruined. But the day is still early, so I'm just gonna walk around aimlessly and see what I stumble upon, see what I find. There's a lot of shopping to do over here. I'm seeing a lot of thrift shops as well. So maybe, you know, I might pick something up. I might get a little drip. They got the cool G over here. I might have to cop. I've never, I don't think I've ever seen cool G in real life. Thrifting over here in Korea isn't really too popular, so the scene is really small. It's gonna be in like a more hit place like Hongdae. And also, this isn't really like a thrift shop, it's like a secondhand store, so everything's curated. Woo Found one that fits me, might have to. This is definitely over $100 though. Do like 10% off from this price, we'll okay. like this. All right. And then give you extra. Okay. Discount for this, so it's going to be like 14,000 won. Yeah, once again, I'm buying things accidentally, meaning I didn't expect to buy or go into any clothing store today. The Kuji, I'm looking online, it's like 600 US dollars for a sweatshirt. And this one was about 143,000 won, so that's like, what, $130. And through the power of conversation, she gave me 10% off. And that's why social interaction is so necessary. So right now I'm currently in another vintage store. I don't think this is healthy, but I kind of wanted to see what they have because the pieces 
are amazing. And being over here almost made me forget how much I love fashion because my closet is very, very small. I can only bring the essentials. So I don't have the option to get super fresh like I usually do. But being in an area like this really just makes me feel the energy. All right, so I left the thrift shop now. <laughs> it's literally dark outside. I was in there for well over an hour. Damn, that's a, that's a Rari. Damn, there's a lot of things happening right now. Clearly the nightlife over here is booming. So I'm definitely gonna have to come back. Now that I've seen what this place is like, I can't believe I didn't come here sooner. It's actually pretty amazing. It's kind of like a foreigner's dream over here in Seoul. Hey, we out here. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. So we are at Vaughn's place right now. It's my place. Well, my boy Vaughn. It was really loud in that bar or what was it? It was a bar restaurant. Yeah, it was, it was like a bar restaurant. It was really loud in there. But man, Itaewon, similar to Hongdae, it's a lot of foreigners. And damn, that bar had basically like every single type of person. <laughs> All different kind of like races, everything. Yeah, exactly. It was, it was actually pretty cool to see. It's the most diversity I've ever seen since I've been over here in Seoul. Yeah, what are we about to do, bro? What are we about to we do? We're about to go out to Itaewon and yeah. get into some clothes, hopefully. <laughs> My boy Arnold right there, he forgot his ID. So we're going to see, you know, get into some place <laughs> that doesn't ID. <laughs> but yeah, this is um, a very good way to end a Friday night. I'm going to show you guys some clips. In one second with the iPhone because we're dropping everything off at Vaughn's place because I can't go to the club with a huge <laughs> camera and a backpack. Some <laughs> iPhone clips coming up right now. <laughs> this place is lit. This is where the world partiers are. 100%. If you partying, you and Issei won. Or Hongdae. to cover our phone camera because you can't take pictures in here that's okay, different that's different yeah so i gotta take my video before but you know we once sold you in one long island in i don't feel good like, you know I mean? you know I mean? it's, it's normal it's just like, a thing yeah, yeah. Uh, Feel me? Are you all say what's up? Hey. 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 All right, so all the clubs closed at 12 o'clock at midnight. It's actually just recent, so it happened like a week ago. Before, it was 11 o'clock, and now we're at an after-party spot. All right, how are you feeling? How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. Okay, I okay. Mean, at this point, I'm feeling scared. <laughs> it's dark as hell. All right, so basically, we're on the street right now. It's like 2 in the morning. No one can get a taxi home. Everybody's... Oh! Yeah, 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 I will. I'll, I'll be with my friends. Yeah. Okay. Bye. All right, get home safe. I'll see you. You too. All right. So basically, no one can get a taxi home. There's a bunch of people waiting right now. But since everyone's trying to do the same thing, it's kind of like getting an Uber. Since everyone's trying to get an Uber home, there's too many people trying to get Ubers, and no one can get one. And everyone's drunk. <laughs> everyone's literally drunk. Want a meal? No. I just want. I, I literally all I want is. Yeah. Wow. Wee 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 wee. He does though.